Today's topic of conversation is Twitch. So if you guys did not know, Twitch as of right now just hit its 10 year mark with Amazon, which could be good, but it's mostly looking bad. Why? Because Amazon is a publicly traded company. Twitch falls under that publicly traded company. On top of that, Twitch has yet to turn a profit. They have yet to show any kind of green in the ledger. It's been red for the last 10 years. So we're going to talk about Twitch and some of the things I don't like about Twitch. So let's go. So real quick, Twitch is reportedly at risk of becoming a zombie brand at Amazon as it still struggles for profitability. Zombie brand, zombie company. This is kind of interesting. I Googled it because there's been quite a few times where people are like, oh, you're not giving us enough information. This is what a zombie company or a zombie brand is. Um, it's basically a company that is in need of a bailout in order to operate or an in-debt company that is, a bit, uh, that is able to pay the interest to its debts but not pay the principal. Basically, what they're doing is robbing Peter to pay Paul just to buy themselves time to attend, like potentially flip and make the profit needed to pay back, pay back, pay back, pay back the principal on the loans that they have on outstanding balances. If you're paying just the interest, you're just kicking the can down the road. And that sounds like what Twitch has been doing over the last 10 years in the portfolio of Amazon. Um, following the round of layoffs early this year, Twitch boss Dan Clancy admits that the streaming service has remained unprofitable, which personally, I do not understand why they are unprofitable considering the amount of ads. Like that is one of the biggest, biggest problems I have with Twitch is the amount of ads. Um, on top of that, Amazon did raise the price of your subscriptions to your favorite streamers. So it went from, <clears throat> excuse me, $4.99 a month to $5.99 a month. But it's ridiculous when I would sit there and I will watch, you know, Twitch streams where there's like four and five minutes of commercials. So real quick, before we get into the rest of this article, let's take a look. Here is one way you could get around those commercials because they did away with ad blockers on Twitch. Twitch Turbo. Twitch Turbo, I believe, it says try free for seven days. I believe it's like $20 a month. Ad free viewing, chat badge, extended um, you know, emoticon sets, custom chat, username, colors, blah, blah, blah. So basically, in my opinion, the only reason why you would get you know Twitch Turbo is for the ad free viewing experience because there's been quite a few times where I'll be watching one of my favorite streamers. They'll be at a pinnacle point and, you know, let's say a tournament, let's say, you know, they're, they're throwing a tournament and you're in the final round and then five minutes of commercials play and you miss the entirety of what happened. On top of that, Twitch is getting more expensive in 35 countries. One of those countries being America. This uh, article was published June 4th, uh, so roughly a month ago. And right here it says the base, uh, the US base users go from $4.99 to $5.99 a month for tier one subscriptions. So they raised a whole nother dollar. <sighs> and then this is the other thing is the ad incentive program that Twitch really pushes on a lot of creators. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not partnered or anything with twitch i stream on twitch yes but i'm not you know a affil twitch affiliate or twitch no partner none of that stuff i am with youtube though and for the most part i don't run ads on my live streams where twitch they they're showing right here this is just a graphic i'm not sure how true it is if you're running three minutes of ads, they're offering you nine hundred dollars to a thousand dollars a month. Four minutes, a thousand to thirteen hundred. Five minutes, thirteen to sixteen. But I know a lot of that is. Uh, it says it's estimated on the number of hours you broadcast, the number of ads, uh, ad minutes per hour you choose to run, the com content you stream, the amount of uh, available ads that the brands are running on Twitch in your country, and I also believe it also depends on how many people you have watching you. Anyways, like I said, to me, it doesn't make sense with all like as much as they're doing and how many ads are running and how much money everything is increased over the last, you know, let's say six to eight months over on Twitch, how they're not, you know, 
at least showing some green because I'm not going to lie. I I'm getting to the point where I don't even really enjoy watching Twitch because of the amount of ads. Uh, I tried to watch sketch yesterday on his trip to Japan and I watched like 20 minutes of ads. I swear to God in an hour and a half, I'm like, I'm done with this. According to the report with the wall street journal insiders worry that Twitch might become a zombie brand or an acquisition that's sidelined because it's the underperforming at Amazon. You have to show green, especially if you're a publicly traded company. And if you're not showing any kind of progress towards potentially turning a profit, they're going to throw you in the back cupboard. They're probably going to end up selling you, which I would not be surprised if either A, <laughs> Kick ends up buying out Twitch from Amazon, or B, I would not be surprised if YouTube buys Amazon, aka Google, by the way. They got the money. Um, these sources pointed to other Amazon sites like Goodreads, Woot, and other examples of zombie brands. Uh, I've never even heard of Goodreads, and I've never even heard of Woot. Anyways, employees also report reportedly worried that they might face another round of layoffs later this year following the annual review. Earlier this year, the platform laid off 500 members of its staff, citing its need for cost cutting. That's that's going to be the terrible part. Is like. <sighs> Having big corporations getting into a space such as Twitch, gaming, whatever, right? We're, gaming really isn't fringe anymore like it was 10 years ago. So there's going to be a lot more problems we're going to face as gamers, as people that enjoy this space that the big corporations are going to step in, cut down on cost cutting. On top of that, this is another like terrible thing I'm going to... I got to put out there is it makes me wonder how much ballooning Twitch did because of 2020, you know, the pandemic and the cause of like the rise in the numbers of people watching and then it ballooned. So they needed more, you know, people to work for them. And now that we have been out of, I guess that phase for over a year now, probably a year and a half, a lot of those jobs are starting to come down and they're going to, you know, cut the fat and they're going to, you know, it, it's, 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 you know, the nature of the beast. It's one of those things like I feel terrible talking about, but it genuinely, I think that's why a lot of these jobs, especially in the gaming sphere are getting cut out. It's due to the fact that they ballooned because of, you know, 2020 and now they're just getting back to the normal levels where they should be before 2020 and now. Um, Twitch has reportedly faced a new major setback over the past few years with its web traffic ranking in the U.S. falling and advertising sales and numbers for both site, uh, ceasing to grow. Like I said, everybody's getting back to normal. Twitch's biggest spenders, one of, the, uh, one of its strongest sources of revenue, have also reportedly spent less on subscriptions and donations. While the internal projections suggest that this trend might cost Twitch close to a quarter of a billion dollars in revenue by the end of 2025. That is a lot of dough, homie. However, a spokesman for Amazon told the Wall Street Journal that the company still feels confident in Twitch's potential. Of course they're going to say that. It's the good old pump and dump before you dump, you know, before you, all right, see ya, and have another competitor even potentially buy them. Just saying. It's been a tormental, uh, tormentalist few years with Twitch. Earlier this year, Twitch shut down operations in Korea due to expensive costs. Just months after its CEO resigned, the brand has also made controversial strings of decisions regarding its sexual content guidelines, the ladies of which, have, uh, which banned implied nudity. <laughs> Sometimes, I'm trying to like figure out how to word this. Sometimes when you got a whole bunch of trolls and you make a decision and you don't think about it fully, People are, of course, going to be like, there's the line. We're going to push it further to see how far we get. This is why you had green, ski green screens on women's butts while they were playing games because you were, you know, rolling out changes with actually not reviewing them and not actually putting out information as to what you're trying to do or anything like that. Let's go full screen. But hey, you guys. I genuinely, I don't think Twitch is going anywhere, not anytime soon. I genuinely hope the best for Twitch. And if they do get bought up by somebody, I hope that 
YouTube potentially purchases them. I hope that, you know, potentially, like, me personally, I'm not a fan of Kick. I have my reasons. I made a video about that. You guys can go watch that. But in my opinion, I think that it's only a matter of time before Amazon cuts bait with Big Purple and Big Purple goes and, like, finds a new home, whether it's YouTube, Kick, Rumble. Like, I don't care where. Like, they're eventually going to have to find a new home. Anyways, you guys, don't forget to mash that like button. Comment down below. How do you feel about Twitch? Do you think they're in trouble or do you think they're going to be good to go? Anyways, you guys, have a great and wonderful day. I'll catch you later.